Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Nair. Today we are going to see one more application of divide and conquer. That is situations matrix multiplication. But before we start a small information, I'd like to say in this channel we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. In our previous videos we have seen what is divide and conquer and how to apply divide and conquer in order to solve any problem. We have discussed quick sort, merge sort and binary search. In this video we are going to learn how to apply divide and conquer in order to solve stresses matrix multiplication. So in general how we solve any matrix multiplication. If a 2 cross 2 matrix is given, let us say A is a matrix and B is another matrix and we are trying to find A cross B and let the data be C11, C12, C21 and C22 then how we generally multiply elements of first row in the first matrix and elements of the first column in the second matrix so we multiply the first elements then the second elements add it similarly for the next data, we go to the second column in the second matrix and we multiply in the same manner. For the second row, we will start with the second row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. So, we will get the data like this. And for C22, we will multiply the data in the first matrix, second row and for the second matrix, second column. So, we will get the data like this. It is true for any M cross N matrix where M is the number of rows in matrix A and N is the number of column in matrix B. So, the resultant matrix will be a M cross N matrix. So in this matrix multiplication, how many multiplication we did? Let us see. We are having 8 multiplication and 4 additions. If the matrix will be larger, let us say I am taking the matrix to be 4 cross 4 matrix. And if I want to solve it, how can I solve it? I can divide them into 4 2 cross 2 matrices and I can name them as a11, A12, A21 and B22. This will be my matrix A and similarly for B, I will be having B11, B12, B21, B22 and I can write this as matrix B and I can multiply them in the same fashion. Now you can see these data are my 2 cross 2 matrices and I know how to multiply a 2 cross 2 matrix. Here A11, B11, A12, B12, A21, B21, A22, B22 all of them are 2 cross 2 matrices. Here also we will be getting 8 multiplication along with that 4 additions. So if I want to solve it the recurrence relation will be t of n equal to 8, t of n by 2 if n is greater than equal to 2 and 1 otherwise. So this is the recurrence relation I will be getting for this particular matrix. Why this recurrence relation? Because we are getting 8 multiplications and in this 8 multiplication all of the size reduced by half. Earlier the matrix was 4 cross 4 matrix but here a11 or B11 matrices are 2 cross 2 matrices. So the size of the matrices reduced by half. So that's why 8 number of matrix multiplication will be doing and each of them will be having size reduced by 2. 
we don't consider this addition because addition is a cheaper operation than multiplication. If we want to find the general complexity of matrix multiplication, we need to solve this recurrence relation. That is Tn equal to 8, Tn by 2 if n is greater than or equal to 2, otherwise 1. We can apply master's theorem to solve this. For master's theorem, we need to take the recurrence relation Tn equal to A, Tn by B plus theta n to the power k log to the power p n. If I want to compare with the given recurrence relation, a is 8, b is 2 and k is equal to 0. p also equal to 0. So now compare a and b to the power k. You can see 8 is greater than 2 to the power 0. That is 1. So we will be applying this particular formula. That is tn equal to theta of n to the power log base b a. And if we will be solving this, we will get theta of n k. For matrix multiplication, if we want to write a code, we will be having three for loops and the innermost loop will be inside the outer loop. And three for loops are there with size n. In that way also, you can see the recurrence relation will be big O of n q. Now let us see what is Stresson's matrix multiplication. In order to find the matrix multiplication, let the data be C11, C12, C21 and C22. This is the ultimate last result that we are getting. And C11 is nothing but P plus S C minus C. C12 equal to R plus S. C21 equal to Q plus S. And C22 equal to P plus R minus Q plus Q. And what is this P, Q, R, S, T, U and V? P, Q, R, S, T, U and V data I can find in this map. P is a11 plus a12 into b11 plus b12 and this formula you need to remember. So in order to remember this properly, we need to follow certain steps. This seven calculation we need to remember. Now you can observe here, the first part of every multiplication is of term A's and the second terms are B's. It means First, we will write in Aij and then we will be writing Bij. Aij and Bij may be in the form of addition or subtraction. So you can see, first you are getting As and then you are getting the Bs. But right now I am going to say how to remember this easily for your exam purpose. Now, remember one more thing. When we will be performing any row operation, we will be adding from left to right. And when we will be doing column operation, we will be doing subtraction. Either from top to bottom or bottom to top, whatever operation we are going to do, we will be doing subtraction operation when we are performing anything under column. First you need to remember that you need to write the data in this form. B11, A11, A22 and B22. And for the first data, you need to remember the first and the last and then the middle two. So what you need to do? The first diagonal of Aij with the first diagonal of Bij operation you need to do. It means A11 and A22 addition you have to do. Then B11 and B22 addition you have to do and then multiply. This is the first value P. For the second data onward, you need to write these data in this order B11, A11, A22 and B22. As we have already told, B data will be appearing at the second part and the A data will be appearing at the beginning. So wherever B data are there, we have given some space here. Right? So for Q, you write B11, R, A11, S, A22 and T, B22 you have written in this fashion. Now, for Q, what you need to do in the first matrix, the second row data you need to add from left to right. Row operation you are doing, that's why you need to do addition. So, for Q, the data will be A21 plus B22 multiplied with B11. I hope it is clear now. You need to remember in this way. Now, let us try to find the value for R. We are already having A11. So, 
the next thing that we are going to fill is data with b and now from the second row top to bottom you need to write it means column operations means subtraction you need to do what it will be b12 minus b2 i hope it is clear also now let us go for finding the value of s the data you are having is a data you need to fill the data with b so what you need to do you need to take the b matrix and you need to take subtraction of first column from bottom to top so in place of this vacant place we will be writing b21 minus b11 and the next data is t we are already having b filled here so we need to write a so we will be taking a's matrix and from left to right top row we are going to write a11 plus a12 so this is how p q r s and t data we have filled now u and v we need to do so for u and v both the matrix data we need for u we need to perform the first column of a and the first row of b first column of a i j that is bottom to top with first row of b i j so we will be writing a21 minus b11 multiplied with b11 plus b12 and the second data is again two matrix we will take and we will write second column and second row so it will be second column of a i j from top to bottom and second row of b i j so it will be a12 minus a22 multiplied with b21 plus b2 so this is how we are going to remember the data that is to be filled for p q r s t u and v now there are seven multiplication we are having and each of them have size reduced by 2 so the recurrence relation is t n equal to 7 t n by 2 if n is greater than equal to 2 and 1 otherwise so in order to find the multiplication we are having c11 c12 c21 and c22 and c11 c12 c21 c22 data so in this way we are going to fill now let us try to find the complexity the complexity will be t of n equal to 7 t n by 2 if n is greater than equal to 2 one otherwise let us apply masters theorem to solve this so if we compare this with the masters theorem recurrence relation we will be having t n equal to a t n by 2 plus theta n to the power k log to the power p n so here a is 7 b is 2 k is equal to 0 and p is equal to 0 so compare a and b to the power k 7 is greater than 2 to the power 0 so we are going to apply this formula we will be getting theta of n log base to 7 it is nothing but theta of n to the power 2.81 in our previous general matrix multiplication it was theta of n cube now it is reduced now let us take some example in order to understand this matrix multiplication let us say we are having a is 2 3 4 5 and b data is 3 4 2 and 1 and we are trying to find a cross b so these are the values we need to calculate and for this we will be getting p equal to 28 Q equal to 27, R is 6, S is minus 5, T is 5, U is 14, and V is minus 6. Now substitute these values for finding C11, C12, C21, and C22, and you will be getting C11 is 12, C12 is 11, C21 is 22, and C22 is 21. So this is our matrix multiplication. Now let us see what are the advantages that we are getting if we are applying Stresen's matrix multiplication. The first advantage is Stresen's matrix multiplication is faster than the name matrix multiplication as the Stresen matrix multiplication's complexity is n to the power 2.81, whereas for our name matrix multiplication, the complexity is big of n cube. It is because we are having eight number of matrix multiplication in our name matrix multiplications 
Whereas under stresses matrix multiplication, we are having seven matrix multiplication. Then what are the disadvantages that we are having while using stresses matrix multiplication? The first disadvantage is space complexity compared to the standard matrix multiplication. The stresses algorithm will require more space because of recursion. The second disadvantage in the stress and matrix multiplication is we can only multiply matrix of size 2 to the power n. If the matrix multiplication is not of the size 2 to the power n, then we can bring it to the size 2 to the power n by adding 0. But then it may happen that we are having a sparse matrix and we are having better matrix multiplication methods for sparse matrix. One more thing is, because of limited precision of computer arithmetic on the non-integer values, large error accumulations are there in stresses matrix multiplication as compared to a naive matrix multiplication. I hope you understood what is stresses matrix multiplication, how to remember it, how to find the complexity and what are the advantages and disadvantages of stresses matrix multiplication. If you understood, give me a like and share among your friends. In our next video, we are going to see yet another application of divide and conquer. See you then. Take care. Bye.